It's God's delight that you enjoy the best of life and live the life that He has a portion for you. God has good thoughts about you. He always wants you to live a glorious life. But the devil doesn't want that. So he'll send circumstances and situations to stop you from enjoying God's blessings and the joy that God has chosen for you. But this time, he can't win because God's word has come to stay forever. You don't have to be discouraged and sad that you haven't gotten all that you desired at certain times in your life. There are times and seasons in life and when we don't understand the way God works, we might even give up and doubt God's love for us. The Bible says there's a time for planting and there's a time for harvesting. There's a time for sowing and there's a time for reaping. God is saying to you that you've entered into that phase where you'll be receiving mind-blowing testimonies. This is the very season in your life when you'll know that God is a God of wonders. He will amaze you in many marvelous ways. Are you trusting God for something specific in your life, be it in your financial life or your family or even your business or career? God will amaze you in this season and he'll show you that there's nothing impossible for him to do. God is a very good God. That's not a statement that we just make in the air to tickle him, but it's a faithful statement that's worthy of acceptance. God is a good God, and he wants to show you his goodness in ways that you've never imagined. God has given us access to his power and ability and, and has made available power to push us to a new level and new height. You do not have to worry and fear like others around you who don't know God about how your future will turn out or how you might even be expecting a miracle in a job opportunity that you're seeking and it doesn't turn out well now. That's not the end in any way. God wants you to know that he's the one that rules over the affairs of men, and he doesn't panic when doing his work in our lives. To you, it might look like a delay, but to him, he's always on time. He'll do his work in his season in your life, and you will be in awe about how it turns out, because for every disappointment, there is always a blessing in disguise prepared in it. So, what God has for you will blow your mind off. You may think you have something now. However, what God has for you will surprise you, and you'll be happy about it. He wants you to dream bigger. The Bible, which is the holy book of the Lord, says, quote, Blessed is he who expects nothing, for he shall never be disappointed. End quote. You must make a decision today that you're going to move on. It won't happen automatically, but you'll have to rise and say, I don't care how hard this is or how disappointed you are because it seems as if you're not going the way you already planned your life. But what God has prepared for you in the future will cause you to roll back in front of the floor. Always have in mind that God Almighty has a perfect plan for every one of us. People might not care about you, but you have to decide on your own that you won't measure yourself by the way others see you and treat you, but by the way God in heaven sees you and has promised to treat you. God is about to do a mighty work and wonder in your day that'll cause your mouth to be opened wide when you see the kind of testimonies that he's promised you. You have to trust God and rely on his shoulder for he's an everlasting God. He is before existence and he will still be the same God even after your existence. He knows the appropriate way he'll take you. Just trust and obey God, for there's no other way to be happy in God but to trust and obey the everlasting God. You must always accept finite disappointment, but never lose hope. What Almighty God has for you in the future will stand the test of time, so you don't have to police to get it. Don't deceive anyone to get it. And you don't have to argue or fight anyone to get it, because whatever God has for you in the future has already been deposited within your inside. You are very special to Him, and He does care about you so much that even the hairs on your head He has count of. He has blessed us, 
and we've been chosen, and He's predestined us to a life of impact and greatness. He has given us this inheritance, and we've been sealed with it till the end. You may not have everything you desire or need right now, but just know, hold on to His promise for your life, and believe what He said in His word. One thing that you can be sure of is that what He has for you will come to pass, and nothing can limit it from happening because He is the God that declares and all the universe obeys Him. It doesn't matter if you're single, married, divorced, or widowed, God will work a miracle in your life if you can just believe and trust fully in Him. The Bible says that all things are possible to the ones who believe. To see mind-blowing testimonies, you have to trust and obey the Lord. When you delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. God has a purpose and plans for you. His plans are sure, true, and faithful. This doesn't mean that you'll never experience problems or trials in life, but it means that regardless, you do have an eternal future in Christ spiritually. God's plan for you is to prosper and grow spiritually in Christ and in the very situation you're in right now, and that prosperity will affect all aspects of your life. We all make plans in life regarding the future, don't we? But not all of our plans work out the way we want, and sometimes we also make choices both good and bad, and they can influence whether we succeed with our plans or not. But one thing about us is that no matter the kinds of decisions we make, we have in mind and we believe. And it always turns out well because there is the consciousness in us that we're made for more and the best. It is good to make plans and live a life of discretion, but you should always ensure that you don't believe so much in principles that you quench and suppress the workings of God's miraculous hand in your life. Don't try and force your plans or shortcut God's plans or timing. Throughout scripture, God's desire is the prosperity of all mankind. Don't put your hope in this life. Don't place your hope in what you can do with your hands. The situation you're in won't last forever. Look to the Lord where your hope opens up to the Lord. Your future is in Christ, not the doctors, the president, or the things of this world. When you look to God only for the outcome of your life, you'll find that everything in life will become easy, and it'll look like everything has been designed to favor you. You're not alone in this world, and you're also not a mere individual amid the crowd. God has packaged so much in you, and He's committed to seeing that you enjoy the best of life and have all-round success. All-around support is God's will for you. He doesn't want you to be broken. He wants you to enjoy the best and wholeness of His blessings. And this will be your reality if only you believe and begin to act on the Word of God to you, that you're entering into the phase and season of mind-blowing testimonies. There is a miracle written with your name on it. In this hopeless world, you still have hope for the future because you have God standing for you when you go through the storms of life. You have hope in a future in Christ, and there is also nothing, even your shortcomings, that can stop what God has purposed in your life. When you understand this, you'll stop thinking like others, and you'll also stop talking like everyone because you know that what God is preparing for you will exceed your expectations. This is the time to raise your hope and expectation in God. It's the time to rejoice and laugh and dance because the word of God can't fail and be broken. So soon you will walk into your ordained miracle.